Hi and welcome back to my kitchen. For those who are new here, my name is Juliet Kane and I share my recipes on this platform and on my blog which I will link down below in case you're interested. And today I am going to be making sweet and spicy pork. So pork is one of my favorite proteins. I feel like I say that for everything. Like everything is my favorite but for real though it's chicken then pork but pork is a favorite of mine because of the unique the uniqueness of its taste and how you don't need to do the most with pork so it can be as simple as throwing it in a pan adding some salt and having it with garlic or you can roast it in an oven or on a jiko as in pork is so easy to work with and today i'm going to be sharing my sweet and spicy pork recipe which is pretty easy so we are just going to get right into it with the pork fat that I had cut out from the skin and before I do that let me walk you through the ingredients I'll be using I have about a kg of pork there are no bones but it was a bit fatty so I separated the fat off of the skin but I'm going to save this and use this because I feel like in pork all the flavor is in the fat not all but most of the flavor is in the fat so I don't like throwing this out I just like to render the fat off and use it as the grease instead of using like vegetable oil or any other kind of oil I also have two onions fresh garlic some ginger this two, I'm going to make a paste out of this too I also have about two or three tablespoons of sugar you could also use honey whatever you have um, for the spices I have some paprika you can use some cayenne if you prefer the heat I have some coriander and just a little bit of turmeric and then I have two lemons that I'm going to squeeze and use in this marinade and then finally we have some chili flakes you could always use fresh chili and black pepper I'm also going to add some salt so before I start cooking it would be preferable to do this about four hours or the night before so that the meat can get all the flavor so I'm just going to add the meat here without the fat because I don't want to marinate the fat. Um, so I'll start with the meat. I'll add in my spice mix. I'll add in a bit of the sugar. Okay, all of the sugar. Then I'll add in the garlic and ginger. This is a garlic and ginger paste. And the lemon juice. If you don't have lemon juice you can always use vinegar and then I'll just rub this in with my clean hands and let this rest for I think I'll give it four hours but if you have overnight then keep it overnight that's better but I'm planning on having this today so I'm only marinating this for about four hours As I had mentioned before, I prefer using the fat instead of adding extra oil. So I'm starting with a hot pan and the fat I had cut out of the skin and I'm going to throw it into the pan and just let this render a bit so that it can grease the bottom of the pan just for a few minutes. Okay at the bottom of the pan so you don't really need to use extra oil in this recipe this is two minutes later already there is a lot a lot of fat at the bottom of the pan which is enough to cook my meal if you prefer you can remove this and throw them away but personally I like the taste so I'll just add the meat here and you could always use oil if you're using pork that is where the meat the fat sorry the fat has been Kind of, but I just prefer doing it this way. This is the meat we had been marinating for a few hours, and I'm just going to add it in here. As I had mentioned, pork is really low, low effort, a low effort kind of protein. So I'm just going to cover this and let this cook for about probably 20 minutes and then now i'll come and add the onions 
as I wait for this to cook, I'll just be here sipping some ukwaju juice, ukwaju and passion juice that I made a few days ago. I'll also put the link to the blog post in the short video in the description box. So go watch that. It's really nice. And I'll add some salt just to balance out the sugar we used in the marinade. And then I'll also add some chili flakes and black pepper. Then finally, I'm going to add the onions towards the end. I like how it's seasoned, so I'll just add in the onions and mix them in. I won't let them cook for too long, maybe 3-5 minutes for them to become soft. The onions have softened up, so this is basically done. I'm just going to serve this. So I'm just going to serve this with some ugali and some mango salsa. And before I sign out, a few things. I'm going to be posting videos on Wednesdays, so watch out for that. And for every video I post, I always have a written recipe linked in the description box, so you can check that out. And for the mango salsa, I will list down the ingredients down in the description box. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and to subscribe and have a wonderful week. Bye!